Welcome and happy Thanksgiving from Hangman Tarot. We're going to get started with our celebrity tarot card reading with Mariah Carey. Okay, so we are going to get straight into this. While you're waiting for me, please go ahead and hit subscribe. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. We have a new button on there. Okay, I don't know if it's new or not. Anyway, so okay, it's that time of the year, and this is the time of the year Miss Fang comes out and starts singing a bunch of shit about Christmas. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm aware, I'm aware she's been around doing this for a while and, um, you know, I'm not sick of it. I'm not mad at her. I do. <laughs> I have a bone to pick with Mariah Carey. Okay. I do. I usually don't, I usually don't give a shit, but I do this year. Okay. I, I did take a peek at her Macy day parade performance and I have to say it was quite bleak. I don't ever say that word because it makes me sound like a 90 year old, but um, listen, I'm mad at that. Okay. I'm mad at this performance. <sighs> it was dog shit. Okay. Let's just put it there. It was dog shit. Okay. Um, let's see. God, I love her though. I love her. I do. I love Mariah Carey. And basically everyone's kind of having a field day already. I think, okay, don't quote me, but I'm having a field day. I literally was looking at it and I was like <gasps> horrified. Um, she had a really big pink dress on with a fucking umbrella. I don't know what the umbrella was for. It's fucking winter. It's November lady in New York, whatever. Mariah sang her iconic tune, All I Want for Christmas, while um, her dancers were flapping around. Yes, they literally look like they're flapping around like fucking turkeys. It was just absurd. And she stood there, as usual, kind of like in the middle of her performance, doing her performance. And she did not join in on the dancing like you. Um, I'm fine with her not dancing, but why does it look so weird? Like, it, it, no, I mean, I mean, she literally won't even move around the stage. Okay. She looked like one of those, those people that, you, that doll you stick in the cake. That's what she looked like to me. Okay. Um, a journalist wrote that she actually is getting millions of dollars right now to just stand there and sit under an umbrella, which is not necessary during the fucking winter, but whatever. And honestly, like mad respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, <laughs> I kind of like that she doesn't have any energy. I'm not going to lie. Like just, and the fucking dancers are wearing nutcracker outfits. Okay. Nutcrackers are very like stiff. They're like, they don't move. I mean, their arms are very, like, st they're very militant. Right. And these guys are just flap, just flapping around. Okay. Just flapping around. Um, Mariah Carey, just again, just kind of there hanging out and doing her thing, <laughs> um, coming out of hibernation, I guess, just in time for Christmas. And I'm, I'm not, this is where the heaviest, um, dose of my asshole, uh, judgment is coming out. Okay. She lip sang the whole time. And I don't know if anybody else seen that, but she keeps lip singing and it's like, listen, some people just have to retire and I'm sick of looking at this chick underneath this umbrella as she lip sings. I'm not kidding. I'm getting really annoyed by it. Actually. I think it's stupid. And we all have to lip sync. You all have to lip sync. All the singers have to lip sync and they do this because it's a parade and the floats don't have capacity to hold or handle sound requirements for live performances, but it was a hundred percent awful. Okay. It was a hundred percent awful. Um, I don't know. I just thought, I just, I, I, we're going to do a reading on her and see, you know, if she can explain this little umbrella situation. Okay. And why the fuck do you got a bunch of nutcrackers dancing around? That's another good question. Okay. All right. Finding out her current energy. <laughs> not regeneration, not regenerative, very out of balance. Just not wanting to co-create, just not wanting to cooperate, just not wanting that stability of maybe, you know, coming into um, a partnership or some sort of a, a situation which not only is she creating, but somebody else is creating. But she, So maybe she doesn't have to just be what she thinks she needs to be. Like, why can't she expand who she is now? Like, why can't you be a big girl or whatever? Like, I really feel like she's hiding a nice but bigger body 
behind the dresses. I think it's stupid. And I think there's a bunch of makeup hiding that. But I don't think she should hide it is my thing. I think that she should fucking embrace the shit out of that. And just be, you know, in your fucking face singing the shit out of those songs, big or little. It doesn't matter. Mariah Carey. Okay, let's find out what's going on with her. So let's find out all about her first. She is an Aries, um, which actually kind of surprised me. I, I didn't realize she was an Aries. Um, and she's uh, her moon sign is a Cancer and then Taurus rising. Yikes. Okay. So, again, Mariah Carey is an American singer, songwriter, and an actress. She was born in New York City in the USA, March 27th. Brace yourselves. 1969 at 12 p.m. I was very shocked that she was that age at all. Like I am. I'm not going to lie. I was very surprised because she looks good. Like you look good, girl. She looks amazing. I mean, she should be like, you know, singing it and dancing around. Just what I think. Um, so anyway, she is an actress. She's a singer, blah, blah, blah. She's known for her five octave vocal ranges. And um, it's just a singing style and a signature use of the whole register. And she's referred to as a songbird supreme and by Guinness World World Records. Um, she rose to fame in 1990 with her debut album released under the guidance of Columbia Records and Tommy Matola, who married her three years later. Carrie is the first artist in history to have her first singles reach number one on the Billboard Hot 100. From Vision of Love to Emotions. I love, I love, I've loved her since I was younger. I really, really have. Okay, so here's, here it is. We're getting right into this reading. <clears throat> okay, so as far as kind of all about the celebrity, some sort of an ending or coming into some sort of a closure and something to do with, you know, this could be family, this could be pertaining to finances or her health. But I think she's coming to an ending um, as far as whatever this chapter is for her. So she's coming into the ending of maybe a season or, you know, a cycle within her life. Hmm. Because, I mean, she feels blessed. She has a lot of family around her. So all about, like, kind of Mariah is this family situation. So just feeling complete and content. Um, she could even have a younger person in her life. And this person is very reliable. They're very grounded and they're very um, safe. So it's like almost like they are a little bit older, kind of wise type feeling. But I feel like this person um, definitely is an experienced person again, but they are youthful, um, younger than her. Yeah, just feeling accomplished. I mean, she's just so accomplished and she is in a very complete state, especially when it comes to family and blessings, finances and health. So this accomplishment, just knowing that she creates a lot of things, she's able to um, kind of overlook it and she just kind of moves through that. I feel like her drive or anything that she is experienced in doing is because she's always worked. She's always put herself to the test. That's just kind of who she is. Um, any challenges that were in the past for Miss Mariah Carey? Sorry, I cannot see these cards. There's a reflection. Okay. So let's see. Got three of swords in reverse. Something she's already dealt with. Something she does not talking about. Something she doesn't communicate about. Could even have some sort of reason or, I don't know, maybe necessary that she, any kind of like worries or tension she has in her life is because of whatever this challenge was. <clears throat> And it had some sort of to do with uh, something that changed within her work or changed within her personal energy. Okay. Um, I feel like she could have even just kind of received a message and just went with that and allowed that to really be her determining factor. I feel like whatever she does in the past, it's always, she's always wanted it to have meaning. So anything going on personal change wise in the past, this is definitely some sort of feeling of loss though. So just some sort of attention, just kind of like upset and just always knowing that there's information right outside of that. Just upset, whatever this is. 
a lot of judgment from whatever this was. Okay. Judgment upright. So there was a harsh judgment on top of this already being an issue. So it just felt like an issue, one issue after another, whatever she was trying to change within herself, whatever she was trying to, you know, grow and enhance, um, especially when she was seeking out, you know, her passion, um, something really, uh, switched up because she was trying to change something, um, having something to do with some sort of a plan or some sort of a communications, but it didn't work out that way. And it's almost like she was just kind of tied to how she wanted to see it. She wanted to see it a certain way. And so she just covered her eyes to it. She was just like, screw it. I'm not going to, I'm going to pretend like I can't see it. I'm going to pretend like I, you know, I'm not here. I'm going to pretend like, you know, everything else is fine. And I'm, you know, I'm just going to put it down deep down really adding to that daily, her daily struggles. That's a huge part of it is whatever happened in the past here. What is going on currently that has something to do with the past situation here? God, these cards are not wanting to play with them. They're not wanting to play. Okay. So any balance or reliability in her life or anything that has managed to grow into something extremely wealthy or her home life, just adding to the balance and the peace of that or any kind of partnerships she has. And that has to do with um, financials or just her home life in general. Has a lot to do with her current situation is because of whatever happened in this past challenge. Whatever this past challenge was. What is that surrounding? The root. Okay. Okay. Yay, yay, yay. That is some card. I just, I do feel like, again, any personal energy, anything she seeks out, any information that she had on whatever this was, whatever fell through, whatever, you know, became some sort of spite in her life, some sort of mental blockage or something that confused her had all to do with the information that came in having to do with what inspires her. It's her work. Definitely has to do with her work. It's always had to do something with her work. Almost like she was, it's weird. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely what it has to do with as far as her current. That has all to do with why she keeps that harmony in her home life, harmony within her financials. I mean, she never wants to feel like that she's in a place where she's forced to see things in a way that she doesn't want to see it. She definitely doesn't want to be put in that place. She doesn't want to be judged for anything. And if she is, she wants to know that she has enough understanding to seek that out. I mean, she don't really give two shits. She don't really give two shits. <laughs> Especially with these, the, her emotional level of consciousness is connected. She has a lot of feeling. She has a lot of stillness. She has, she's able to adapt to things fairly quickly. Um, even if she's not showing that on the outside, that's something that is definitely being said here or written with these cards. Hmm. Yeah, she's got a quick tongue though. I mean, because the root of that is that, yeah, again, she's not going to walk around with this low inspiration, you know, be ruthless as hell. You know, she tries to communicate as much as she can. There is um, a harshness that comes off when she is talking or almost like where she's put in a place and she's kind of like not able to make um, a choice based off of this. Any tensions that she has. Yeah, she feels like she's stable. She feels like she communicates. She feels like she comes at people with logic. She feels like, you know, I'm this, you know, wonderful person that is very rational and can, you know, make quick decisions and plan things and emotionally stable. That's how she feels about herself. Let's get one more card on that. I'm telling you what, these cards are like slowing me down. Hello, Jake Paul and Tana. Tana. <laughs> yeah, because she's, I mean, she's one of those people who has that energy that people will flock, you know, miles and miles clearly to watch her in a pink dress. So, I mean, she's definitely got that fire energy. She's definitely got that element within and around her. Totally an Aries. 
that is completely in Aries and that fighter that she has or that, you know, nasty, ruthless, you know, quick tongue that she can definitely make you feel like shit immediately. Immediately. And we see her as somebody who is reliable. We see her as creative. We see her as kind of leading her own way through her business and her field and what she does as an experienced person um, in her industry. We, we see that as stable. We see it as safe and grounded. We don't see her, you know, very floaty. We see her very down into, you know, humbled enough to be right there in the earth. I just, I feel as if, she would, in the world's looking at her like she would, you know, come up and talk to anybody. Like she would be normal as a neighbor. But that's weird too, because I don't look at her like that. I look at her like she lives in a castle. And the world sees her in a different perspective after something happens. So some sort of a tower moment or some sort of moment where there was a lot of chaos going on around her. And it's something very specific. And I'm not quite sure I didn't follow Mariah Carey like that, but... Um, whatever this tower moment was, there was a shift in the way that um, we or her fans were viewing her, basically. So what is the likely outcome for her next month or so? I just sort of know this. Some sort of problem, some sort of like exhaustion, maybe just over it, just kind of belly aching about something here. Even though there could be, you know, some sort of offer this could definitely be a new beginning to some sort of love situation or emotional situation or just to joy in general, or just kind of like vamping up that feminine energy. So even a relationship or something, you know, platonic or non-platonic, this is definitely a new beginning or some sort of an offer coming from somebody. This could be from another person of an earth sign, a Taurus in specific or an air. Yeah, they want something traditional with her. I don't know if she's married. Is she married or did she get asked to get married? I don't, because this person wants her to get traditional. They want long-term happiness with her. They're like, let's get married. Let's do this. Okay. I don't know if she's married or not. I, I did not look. Actually, I should look. Um, yeah. So the energy in that is looking like she's not going to make the choice immediately. She might even already know about this. So if she is popped the question on national TV, just know she knows. <laughs> Okay, that's all I'm saying. She knows. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. Please go ahead, hit subscribe to Hangman Tarot. Share, like, and follow on all of your social media. And please go check out my social media in the deeps below. If you would, please hit that bell so you don't miss any of your upcoming or future tarot card readings, as well as anything on the YouTube channel, Hangman Tarot. Again, my name is Jordan. I'm sure I have met you here before. It is nice to meet you. I will see you all later. Again, happy Turkey Day. See you later.